Across the nation, crypto executives and unfortunately lobbyists are drafting legislation and getting the legislation passed on a state level to ensure that the crypto industry remains deregulated and it will benefit this fast growing industry. It's not a good sign. And to be sure, the federal government under the leadership of Joe Biden has claimed that they're gonna do something. But in typical Joe Biden fashion, whenever he says he's gonna do something, it just means he's going to form a commission to study it. And that is exactly what he announced through his crypto related executive order just a few months ago. So it's being studied, but since the federal government isn't really focusing on how it could regulate cryptocurrency, it's being left up to the states. And that is not a good sign because the lobbyists are large, they're in charge. It's another installment of That's amazing. Tales from the crypto. So let's give you the details. One example is what's happening in Florida. In the Florida House last month, legislators swiftly gave final approval to a bill that makes it easier to buy and sell cryptocurrency, eliminating a threat from a law intended to curb money laundering. One of the few pauses in the action came when two House members stood up to thank crypto industry stakeholders for teaming with state officials to write a draft of the bill. Oh my God. So the state legislators stand up and they're like, yo, crypto lobbyists, thanks for legislating on our behalf. Unbelievable. The House voted unanimously. Every single one of those lawmakers voted to pass the measure. The Senate followed, sending the bill to Governor Ron DeSantis for his signature after 75 seconds of deliberations. The new money transmission legislation emerged from a months long collaboration between Representative Vance Alopis Jr., a Republican of South Miami, and Samuel Arms, who is starting a cryptocurrency investment firm, Tor- Tortuga Venture Fund. It is unbelievable, Francesca. It is unbelievable. Uh, I, I have more details, but I want to hear what you think already. Well, I mean, it's just a new way to, like, a new way to do corruption. It's just a new way to. Like steal money that is not yours. That's all this is. It's a new way to have a shell company. It's a new way to get away with like, you know, uh, I don't know, get Matt Gates on it, paying 17 year olds for sex. Like you name it, it feels like that's what we're dealing with here. And like, I know that crypto bros hate when I say this. They're almost as bad as Elon Musk bros and they're kind of the same thing, but they hate when anyone, cause, cause in their minds, we live in this libertarian utopia and crypto is amazing and it's going to solve, you know, like it's going to bring world peace and it's going to solve climate change slash actually incredibly increase the amount of carbon that's in the atmosphere because of how it's mined. Oopsies, but like let it go. Let it go, guys. Financial institutions need to be regulated. I'm sorry. Yes, they need to be reformed, but cryptocurrency is no different. Yep, at least 153 pieces of cryptocurrency related legislation were pending this year in 40 states and Puerto Rico. That's according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. While it was unclear how many were influenced by the crypto industry, some bills have used industry proposed language almost word for word. One bill pending in Illinois lifted entire sentences from a draft provided by a lobbyist. This is how it works, folks. And so you could be a proponent of cryptocurrency. Uh, But you should want protections. You should want to ensure that cryptocurrency isn't being used for money laundering by some of the worst criminals in the globe. You should want to ensure that, you know, people don't deal with fraud related to cryptocurrency or that there isn't manipulation happening when it comes to the value of cryptocurrency. These are regulations that are meant to protect the ordinary individual. And the fact that there's like this weird like pushback against it. I mean, so basically the individuals who are in favor of the deregulation want to turn crypto, I mean, it's already there. But the same things that they complain about, about like the financial industry, 
They want that to be true of yes. cryptocurrency, yes. right? Same, but even polls. more, even more deregulated, which yeah. is stupid. So, no, I uh, mean, don't you feel like this is a slow moving, like Anna Delvey con, a slow moving Elizabeth Holmes, a slow? It's just a fire festival that takes thirty years to happen. You know, and like in in a few years, we're gonna just be inundated with Netflix and Hulu documentaries all about how totally. crypto was a giant scam and people lost their life savings. But don't worry, there's a wild transfer coming, okay? <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.